I'm going to disconnect the battery first, take the negative terminal off, use a 10 millimeter socket or wrench, loosen up the nut, and slide the terminal off and out of the way. We're going to remove this oil feed pipe right here. It goes from where the oil comes out of the engine up to the top of the turbo. There may be a shield on here. You might have to remove that. This vehicle does not have that. Use an E10 socket. Take this bolt out. Now I'm going to use a T45 and we're going to take this banjo bolt out right here. be seals in there you want to remove those seals it's a good idea to replace the seals trying to get that off and grab the pipe and slide it out now I'm going to disconnect the connector for the O2 sensor just use a pick or a straight blade screwdriver and it's almost like a ratchet this slides up, and as that slides up, the connector you can disconnect. We're going to disconnect this exhaust clamp right here. I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket and take this bolt out. If you have a different style clamp, the size might be different. bolt out completely, loosen up that clamp, I'm just going to move it to the turbo side right there. Underneath the car we're going to take these three nuts off for the exhaust, use a 12 millimeter socket. able to slide this down and off the converter and take the gasket off. Now we're going to support the converter using a 10 millimeter socket and then take these two nuts off. Take that one out and loosen this one up. But again, hold the converter. Be able to slide it off and slide it down. Now I'm going to use an E10 socket. Take these two bolts out that go to the oil return line. You might want a drain bucket underneath just in case you lose some oil. Should just be loose like that that's fine there's a little cover over this connector right here slide that back and then disconnect the connector for the oil pressure sensor just slide that up disconnect it you're going to disconnect this hose right here use some needle nose pliers or a hose hose clamp tool 
and just move that hose clamp down, down the hose, just like that. This vehicle does not have a drain in the radiator. So what you could do is drain the coolant with the lower radiator hose, or just put a bucket underneath here while you're taking this out. You wanna remember when taking these hoses off, you don't do this if the engine's hot. So as long as the engine's cool and put a drain bucket underneath, you're gonna lose some coolant. There we go. Twist that over. I'm just gonna pull the coolant reservoir cap off so it just streams a little better. Now we're gonna remove the intake hose right here after the air box. Use a seven millimeter socket, loosen up the worm clamp. Slide that off. And then also down near the turbo, loosen that worm clamp. Grab the hose, just twist it a little bit and slide it off. go. There's a hose that's connected to the thermostat housing right here. We have to loosen up the worm clamp on that. We're going to use the seven millimeter socket. I can access it under here. May be different on different vehicles. Loosen that up. And then you can use a pick and just separate the hose from the thermostat housing. Just push it down. And you might lose a little coolant, so move the bucket if you have to. Disconnect this hose right here. There's a couple of push tabs on the side. Just push those down. It should release. Slide it off right there. Then this little hose goes down here. You want to disconnect that. Just use some needle nose pliers. Move the clamp. Once the clamp's off, you should be able to pull the hose right from there. Slide that off. And you can move that out of the way. Disconnect the connector on this actuator right here. Just push down, slide that connector off. It's good there. Using a 17 millimeter socket, I'm gonna go down underneath. There's a line that goes into the engine that you have to take off. Take the banjo bolt off there. Let's get it started. And you can do it by hand. And you're going to lose some coolant. So make sure you have a drain bucket for that. Slide that off. Pull that bolt out. Now we're going to remove this hose right here. Use a 7 millimeter socket. Loosen up the worm clamp. And 
grab the hose, slide it down out of the way. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna take the nuts off for the manifold. And you want to get the bolts off underneath, or the nuts off from underneath the manifold. For this one, I'm just using a ratchet wrench, just because it's a little easier to get in there. And just two more. And the last one. And grab the turbo and just slide it out. Pull it off. And remove this hose clamp right here or loosen it. Use a seven millimeter socket. Loosen that up. And then just move this hose. There is coolant in here, so you might want a drain bucket just in case you lose some coolant. Slide that down. Underneath here, there is a bolt holding this bracket on. You want to remove that. Use an E10 socket. Take that bolt out. There's a hose clamp right here. Just use some hose clamp pliers and move that hose clamp up. And you want to move, remove this hose, just like that, slide that up. Now remove these three bolts, use an E12 socket. Pull those off. You want to grab the oil cooler, just give it a wiggle, and shake it off, and there it is. There's going to be coolant in there. Now you want to transfer this pipe over to the new one, 
just grab the pipe, just give it a little twist back and forth while you're pulling it out. Just like that. You want to pull this O-ring off, replace that O-ring. Take the new O-ring, slide it on the pipe. And you want to slide the pipe into the housing, same way it came out. Line that up. Because our vehicle has a turbo, we need to pull this piece out right here. Just use some needle nose pliers and pull this out. You might have to punch it from the other side. Just push it through from the back side. Slides right out. Just make sure the seals are on the back side. That looks good. And then just take a rag and just wipe down the engine block. Make sure that looks good. You can even put a little engine oil on this O-ring here. And put some clean engine oil on. And slide in position. Almost all the way down. There we go. Now put these bolts back in, get them all started. Now we're going to torque these bolts to 15 foot-pounds. And just go around again, double check. Now where the coolant pipe bolts up to the engine, put that bolt in, get that lined up, and tighten it down. And put this coolant hose on, on the thermostat housing. Tighten that down. Just snug it up. Good. Using a 24 millimeter socket, take off the oil pressure switch, off the old one. It's a good idea to replace that seal while you're doing this. And put the oil pressure sensor in there, snug it down. and torque that to 15 foot-pounds. And we can plug that in, line that up, lock it down. You can just move this little heat shield over the plug, just like that. Now line this hose up. Just 
slide the clamp down in place. It's good like that. Take the old manifold gasket off. You want to replace it with a new one. Just line it up, slide it in place. This oil return line, you want to take this gasket off as well. Re replace that. Put a new one on. And slide the turbo in position. And just line this up, line the bracket up on the turbo. And get all the nuts started. And you can start tightening those down. Just alternate going back and forth from, from the middle outward. And starting from the center and working your way outwards, I'm going to torque these manifold nuts to 71 inch pounds.
that's good. You can always go back and double check. Now you want to reattach the oil return line right there. And we already put the gasket on. Take the bolts, get those started. Just line that up. That's one bolt. Now we're going to torque those bolts to 71 inch pounds. Now we're going to add the coolant line bolt. Make sure you put a new seal on. One seal goes on first, then this is going to go through the hose, and then you put another seal on the other side of where the hose is. So you're going to have to reach down in here. Now slide the bolt through there. And then carefully try to get the seal on the other side. around the bolt and carefully try to thread it into the engine block all right line that up and then get that started it's a little bit easier if you take a socket with a small extension and then tighten that down if you can get a torque wrench in there you want to torque that nut bolt to 22 foot-pounds you can. Now install the coolant pipe that goes right here. Slide that in place. Use some hose clamp pliers. Move the, move the hose clamp. Slide that up. Install the bolt that goes right there. And tighten it down. Snug that down. Before we put the oil feed hose on, you want to take a little bit of motor oil and put it into the turbo right there. And let it drain down a little bit. That should be good. And with the oil feed hose, we're going to do the same. You have your bolt. You're going to put one seal on one side. Then the bolt's going to go through the hose and then another seal on the other side. So slide this down in position. Put the bolt on like that. Get this all lined up. Get that started. Make sure it's lined up on that side as well. Tighten that down. And 
You want to torque that to 22 foot-pounds. And take the bolt that goes on the other side of the line. Get that started. And then torque that to 89 inch pounds. Now take the hose from down below, slide that on, and we'll tighten down that worm clamp. Just snug it down, make sure the hose is tight. Just a little bit more. That's good. Now take the exhaust clamp for the converter and slide that on the manifold side. Make sure that's all the way around. It's okay to be a little loose, make it easier to install it. And we'll go underneath, put the converter up. Now we're gonna put the converter up. You wanna make sure you put a new seal right here and also a seal on that side. We'll slide the O2 sensor up first. And just line that up, try to get it lined up up top where the clamp is. You have to spread the clamp a little bit. Started there. Clamps all the way around up top. Just snug these up just by hand. And we can put the clamp on up top. We can line this up. Get those nuts started. Now we can tighten these bolts down. There is some flex in this pipe, so it's okay to do that now. Snug them down. Now you want to line this clamp up, make sure it goes completely all the way around, and then put that bolt in. Or if yours has a nut, put the nut on. And you want to tighten that down. Snug it up and plug the O2 sensor in. 
lock it in place. And if there's a bracket for this, you want to push that into the bracket. This vehicle doesn't have it. And underneath, we want to tighten those two brackets down. Snug those up. That's good. Now we're going to attach the vacuum hose down below. Slide that on right there. You can use some hose clamp pliers if you need to, or needle nose pliers if that clamp is in your way. And just slide it on. Oops. And up top, just the bracket. Push, push that on the hose and slide this hose in place. Lock it down. And any of the clips, put the clips in. Now the intake boot, slide that on. And over on the airbox. And tighten down the worm clamps. Snug that down. Using a 24 millimeter socket, you want to take this cap off. and slide it out. So just pull the oil filter cap, just make sure there's an oil filter in there. It's always a good idea to replace it. Now you can line that up, get that started. And gently tighten this down. And we can torque that to 18 foot-pounds. That's good. Use a 17 millimeter wrench. Listen up the drain plug. You want to make sure you have a drain bucket underneath to catch the oil. And drain the oil. On the drain plug, you want to take the old seal off. You can get under there with a pocket screwdriver. Take that off, get a new one, put the new one on. Then you can put the drain plug up. Just wipe away any debris and put the drain plug up. Get that started. Then you want to torque the drain plug to 10 foot-pounds. That's good. Now you can remove the oil cap. It should say what type of oil to use. For ours, it's going to be 530. Just use a funnel. 
using the appropriate 530 oil. For this vehicle, we're going to add 4.2 quarts of oil. Now connect the negative terminal on the battery. Just use a wrench and tighten it down. Get it snug, just give it a wiggle, make sure it's tight, it's good. Now you want to add the appropriate coolant, take the coolant cap off, top it off. You want to start the engine, run the engine for about 10 minutes as it warms up. Make sure that the engine doesn't overheat and make sure that there's plenty of coolant in there. Shut the vehicle down, let it cool down, and then double check your coolant level. Now start the engine. Now grab the dipstick, pull it out, wipe it off with a rag, reinsert the dipstick, wait for three seconds, pull it out again, and just double check. Make sure it's in between those two hash marks, preferably closer to the top. Looks good. Perfect.